Good morning and welcome to another episode of Tom's Gadget Garage. In today's video, we're taking the Punk Rider Pro up the steepest incline I can find in the Phoenix metro area. Now this incline is gonna take us upwards of 23.6% in grade. So this will be really a strength test for this scooter. Now the Punk Rider Pro does come with dual 600 nominal watt motors capable of cranking out a combined 2300 watts of peak power. Now in the app, we do have the settings set to maximum for this scooter. And so we'll see if it has the strength to make it to the top. All right, we are currently in mode three with maximum settings enabled. So far, no issues at all whatsoever. Here we go into the steepest section, 23.6% grade. Here we go. 18 miles an hour. All right, here's the steepest section. We're down to 15. And there you have it, made it up. So that is the ultimate climbing test for these scooters. Over 23% grade and we made it up, no problem at all whatsoever. And once again, these brakes, when you have max regen set in the app are extremely strong. In fact, probably too strong even for this extremely steep decline. So that's the beautiful thing about the Punk Rider Pro is it is app enabled, which gives you full control over the settings of this scooter, whether it be brake strength, torque strength, starting torque, regular riding torque, the whole nine yards, you can adjust it all. So depending on your riding conditions, uh, you can make those modifications of the settings to suit your needs for that particular ride. And once again, I am barely tapping into the drum brakes, even on these steep declines. So that electronic brake is very powerful. You've got uh, regen in both the front and the rear motors. All right, folks, so there you have it. That was our brute strength hill climb test with the Punk Rider Pro. Over 23% grade, not a problem for this scooter. We were able to maintain speed, scale the mountain, no problem at all. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, concerns in the comments section below. And as always, thank you so much for tuning into Tom's Gadget Garage. We'll see you next time.